Congratulations to our graduating seniors at Lafayette and Ridgeland High Schools. Your resolve has been tested and your character is now more confident and determined. You have emerged from the impact of COVID-19 with vision that is truly 2020. You are now ready for college, ready for work, ready for life. Hello, I'm Karen Hughes, principal at Ridgeland High School, and I would like to welcome you to our virtual graduation for the class of 2020. Our traditional graduation was scheduled to be held tonight. However, due to the response to the COVID-19 pandemic, that is not possible. Instead, we would like for you to join us as we celebrate this year's graduating class virtually. It is our hope that as restrictions are lifted, we will be able to hold a traditional graduation here at Ridgeland High School on Bower and Painter Field on June the 25th at 8 a.m. Once again, that's 8 a.m. due to the heat uh, on June dates. We also hope to have more information out um, as it becomes available at a later date. But for now, let's celebrate the Ridgeland High School Class of 2020. We hope you enjoy the program.
Superintendent Raines, Walker County board members, honored guests, graduates, family, and friends. It's my honor to welcome you to the Ridgeland High School graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the class of 2020's last nine weeks of your senior year has been very unique. Through the closure of school for the remainder of year to extended learning plans, rescheduling prom, senior drive-throughs to pick up cap and gowns, yard signs, it has been so amazing how collectively this class of 2020 has responded to these uncertain times. This all goes to show that life is what you make of it. Life will continue to be filled with challenges. It is at those times that you truly show what you are made of and what you're capable of accomplishing. As your principal, I cannot tell you how proud I am of each and every one of you. I'm excited about what the future holds for you. I challenge you to make a difference in everything that you do. There's no limit to what you can be or what you can do. You're the only one that can hold yourself back. Personally, I want to share with you the last conversation I had with my father before his passing this past September. He told me to tell my students to behave, get their education, make something of themselves, and to give back to this great community that raised them. You are graduating. You are ready for the next challenge, college and our work and life. We have graduates going to colleges and universities, entering the armed forces to help protect the freedoms of our great nation, and others entering the workforce. The class of 2020 has received over $5 million in scholarships. This class has also completed over 1,300 hours of dual enrollment and AP course credits. I challenge each of you on the first day of school to get connected. This class accepted this challenge and completed over 2,000 hours of community service prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. Our Panthers understand the importance of serving others and giving back to their community. Tomorrow will be your first day of adulthood, and I challenge you to make a positive impact on our great nation. The best of luck to you, and remember, once a panther, always a panther. This evening, the class of 2020 would like to introduce a few of our special guests on stage. First, I would like to recognize and introduce our Walker County Board of Education. Please stand when your name is called. The chairman of the board is Karen Stoker. We have Phyllis Hunter, Bobby McNabb, Mike Carruth, Dale Wilson, and the superintendent, Damon Raines. Thank you for all that you do. Next, we have the principals of our feeder schools. These are the faithful leaders that lead future Panthers to this important day. From Chattanooga Valley Elementary, Heather Culberson, from Cherokee Ridge Elementary, Lori Van, from Fairland Elementary, Jeremy Roardink, from Rossville Elementary, Courtney Gadd, from Stone Creek Elementary, Brandon Mosgrove, from Chattanooga Valley Middle, Wade Breeden, from Rossville Middle, Jason Pelham. Your hard work and tireless dedication to your students do not go unnoticed. For that, we say thank you. Mr. Raines, Board of Education, Ms. Hughes, Administrators, Family, Friends, and Fellow Graduates, I would like to welcome you all to the graduating ceremony of the Richland High School Class of 2020. This marks the end of the first section of our lives and our movement into bigger things. For many of us, that is college, the workforce, the military, or trade school. While this does excite many, there are some things I would like for us to remember. For honor students, it's Papa Bandy telling us stories while he lectures. For STEM, it is Father Davis telling stories while he welds. And for the College Preparation Academy, it's the beauty of Coach Slade Dale teaching class in the light of his projector. These are all very important things that we should remember as we go forward in our lives. We all have various reasons for going the ways we choose to, but whichever way you go, you must remember the Panther Creed as Dr. Stinson told us each morning. This includes respecting ourselves and others. The Get Connected part can wait for now. 
as we must continue to stay healthy, as although it is 2020, none of us saw a pandemic coming. We must always continue to grow and succeed like we have done in high school. On a personal note, I'd like to thank my friends and family for always supporting me and my teachers for always being there. To all family, friends, and other guests tonight, welcome to the Richland High School Class of 2020 graduating ceremony. To all my fellow graduates, welcome to graduation and the beginning of the rest of our lives. Mr. Raines, Ms. Hughes, faculty, administrators, distinguished guests, family, friends, and fellow graduates of the Class of 2020. We have waited and waited for this day to come. We have been looking forward for this day for years now. And finally, you are about to walk across this stage. No one, absolutely no one, could keep this day from us. Now, as I stand here and reflect on our high school experiences, I just have to say what a wild ride it has been. Let's reflect on the memories we made at Ridgeland High School. Our freshman year, we entered Ridgeland as students for the first time. We met with our friends from middle school and met more friends from other schools. Most freshmen kept their heads low, trying to avoid the attention of upperclassmen. That was not the case with this class. We held our heads high through the halls in our wonderful band, in pep rallies, and in our beloved student section. In our sophomore year, we blazed through the year, succeeding within the classroom and out on the athletic fields. We created a bitter rivalry with heritage, but you can't have a rivalry if you win every time. That is all I have to say about that. In our junior year, we were finally upperclassmen. We competed with the other graduating classes to ensure that we were dominant. Whether it was a pep rally, a food drive, it didn't matter. That's the one thing that is special about this class. No matter what it is, no matter what the odds are, we fight our way to the top. Our senior year, we counted down for this day. We tossed baby powder, slid across the wet Bowers and Painters field, and we ran the flag after each score. We started to plan for our future, making plans for college, the military, or which career to choose. Within a blink of an eye, our last quarter was taken from us. But we are still here, and now all are about to turn the page to the next chapter in our life. I know a dear friend of many, Zach Burnett, was lost. We pay our condolences to his fr family and friends for their loss. During the second semester of our sophomore year, many of us lost a best friend, Lucas Ferguson. We are forever thankful for him and his family. We love both of you, Zach and Luke. Now, all, as we all wait here, look at the ones around you, where it may be the last time you see them as they go on with their life. As I look around, all I want to say is thank you. Thank you for all the memories we have created together. Thank you for such an unforgettable experience. Wear that Panther pride across your chest and remember we are the class of 2020. We are Ridgeland Panthers. Welcome Mr. Raines, Mrs. Hughes, faculty, distinguished guests, family and friends, and fellow graduates. We are gathered here today to celebrate the class of 2020. This is a momentous occasion. Every graduate has spent the last 13 years working toward and dreaming about this moment. Let's be honest though, I would be crazy to say that every single one of us got to this point in our lives with no one else's help. We have received guidance from our families and our friends, we have received guidance from each other, and we have received guidance from the wonderful, hardworking faculty and staff at Ridgeland High School. Over the past four years, the faculty at Ridgeland have been there through several moments of love and loss. Whenever we dealt with hardships, our teachers were there with an open classroom door and an open heart to provide places where we could grieve and laugh about memories and make things a little more okay. Whenever we received wonderful news about college or life in general, our teachers were there to celebrate, cheer us on, and encourage us towards the next great thing. Sometimes they are hard on us, not because they're mean, but just because they care that much about us. Whether we found safety and love in academics, sports, performing arts, or clubs, there was a teacher at the end of the line, making sure that all students were given support and preparation for their future. Thank you. The faculty at Ridgeland does not stop at our amazing educators. Our principals administra and administrators have guided us since our first day in high school, pushing our limits to the sky and reminding us to follow the Panther Creed. The guidance counselors at Ridgeland have always been there to reach out and help us with any problems we might have. They provided the motivation and proper forms to allow us to achieve our dreams. 
The office ladies work hard every single day so that we don't have to think twice about our dues and attendance after we have talked to them. Our student resource officers keep our campus safe. The cafeteria workers and custodial staff work endlessly to provide warm meals in a clean environment for the entire school every single day of the year. Thank you. The faculty at Ridgeland is wonderful and they are very dedicated to what they do and this is especially prevalent in the given circumstances we currently face. I never truly believed that I would miss school to the extent I do now and I feel like that is what so many other students and all faculty members feel as well. Receiving online classwork, having a class discussion over video chat, or driving through the bus loop to pick up our caps and gowns is the last way I think any of us wanted to spend the rest of the semester. Our educators, administration, and other faculty have been so supportive and helpful during this strange time in our lives, and I would like to genuinely thank all of them. I have personally been influenced by this faculty to pursue education as my career, and I hope that when I'm an educator, I will be as kind, persevering, and dedicated as the, st as the staff at Ridgeland High School. So on behalf of the entire class of 2020, thank you faculty. And to my fellow graduates, congratulations, we finally made it. I hope that each one of you is successful in whatever makes you happy in this world. Thank you. Mr. Raines, Ms. Hughes, faculty, administrators, distinguished guests, family, friends, and fellow graduates. Thank you for attending the 2020 Ridgeland graduation ceremony. The day has finally come. We have worked hard for this day our entire lives. Our first being milestone. Today is a bittersweet day. It is the day we leave behind what we have always known and begin to enter the unknown world called adulthood. We have grown together from kindergarten to senior year. We've become friends, shared memories, and created unbreakable bonds, but it is now time to move to our next chapter. We have also now lived through a pandemic. The coronavirus caused our senior year to be changed significantly. Friday, March 13th, 2020, was our last day of class at Ridgeland High School. From that day, classes were online, we were placed in quarantine, and we had no idea how the rest of our senior year would play out. We had planned for prom, class night, awards day, and graduation our entire lives, and suddenly we did not know what would happen with these days. Our teachers, administrators, and parents comforted us during this time. Past graduating classes felt sympathy for us. We helped and cared for each other. I believe that although this experience was terrifying, it allowed us to grow. We now understand that everything we know can change in the blink of an eye we learn to take nothing for granted. Life is not easy and it never will be. We will experience hardships, but we will also experience blessings. Blessings such as a loving family and caring friends have carried me through each hardship I have faced. As a class, we were blessed with Friday night lights at the football field, an amazing prom our junior year, talent filled musicals, heart racing volleyball matches, soothing band concerts, delicious snacks from Miss Weather's cart, elegant military balls, and so much more. I'm proud of each person here. We have been a successful class full of athletes, musicians, brainiacs, artists, photographers, and actors. In the words of Dr. Seuss, you have brains in your head and feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You are prepared to reach your goals. Work hard and never give up. On a personal note, I would like to thank my parents, Terry and David Williams, for believing in me even when I didn't believe in myself, my sister Taylor for pushing me to be the best I could be, Timothy Hollister for always being supportive, my incredible friends for always caring, my hardworking teachers for going above and beyond to help me succeed, Lucas Ferguson for offering me love and friendship, and God for blessing me with these wonderful people and this wonderful opportunity. To the class of 2020, this is not the end, but the beginning. We are ready for whatever the world shall throw our way. May God bless you, live long and prosper, and congratulations, class of 2020. It is my privilege to introduce to you the top two graduates for the class of 2020. Our salutatorian is Mr. James Nicholas Meyer Heisey with a grade point average of 100.67. And Miss Sarah Noel Williams is our valedictorian with a grade point average of 100.76. At this time, we are proud to recognize the student who has earned the remarkable distinction of perfect attendance for her entire school career from kindergarten to 12th grade. Congratulations to Ms. Brittany Skiles. Sarah Noel Williams. James Nicholas Meyer Heisey, Miss 
Brittany Michelle Bateman. Samuel Charles Klein. Kendall Bedford Barrett. Jai Kair Barnett. Jacob Blaine Robinson. Nathan Andrew Mead. Connor Michael Sims. Ashley Elizabeth Cadu. Benjamin Waylon Gilly. Stormy Sky Collins. Cindy Jade Plemons. Cameron James Matthew Slagle. Savannah Rose Engel. Destiny Allison Schrader. Caitlin Brooke Gates. Macy Taylor Neal. Margaret Kathleen Hickson. Madison Ann Hathaway. Carly Brianne Arthur. Sydney Leanne Alexander. Bryce Devin Armstrong. Haven Ann Bain. Alexis Elaine Ballou. Stephen Emmanuel Barksdale. Daniel Eugene Barrett. Rosie Anielli Bautista Pies. Jordan Blackwell. Julian Tyrone Brooks. Joseph Edward Brown. Kaylee Michelle Brown. Zachary Ray Burnett. Dequila Cache Bird. Eileen Catherine Bailey. Dylan Ray Cagle. Rayleigh Alexandra Callahan. Kayla Michelle Cameron. Brianna Paige Campbell.
Haley, Marie, Carol. Nathan, Ryan, Carver. Zori, Renee, Champion. Michael, Andrew, Jeremy. Alicia, Lane, Clymer. Cheyenne, Lynn, Collins. Haven, James, Collins. Logan, Micah, Couch. Jacob, Tanner, Counts. Haley, Elizabeth Cowan. Preston, Michael Craze. Charles Allen Cronin. Michael Gage Cronin. Heaven, Danielle Cross. Caleb Issam Cross. Amber Ayana Cummings. Brianna Michelle Daniels. Dakota Robert Dehart. Alex De La Cruz. Hannah Nicole DeSalvo. Connor Hunter Devlin. Caden Ace Duncan. David Gage Dunn. James Gavin Dunn. Landry Tate Dunn. David Jean Edwards. Jason Michael Edwards. Zoe Nicole Eustace. Chloe Pauline Evett. Lanaya Rochelle Fairbanks. Sierra Lachey Foster. Kiara Tache Foster. Dylan Hunter Fowler. Laney Marie Frazier. Garrett Isaac Gibson. Matthew Ryan Glenn. Ryan Hunter Godsey. Damon Wade Goins. 
Taylor Michael Gonzalez. Cameron Graham. Jacory Jashawn Groggins. Brianna Nicole Hackworth. Sierra Desiree Hallman. Dennis Ray Hardiman. Dakota Myrick Harris. Kiasia Monet Bernice Harris. Vanessa Jocelyn Hart. Taylor Cheyenne Hayworth. Andrew Ray Hedrick. Summer Elena Helms. Brittany Ann Holder. Armando Luis Iglesias. Jared Kobe Jackson. Jada Kane Jenkins. A unique Donise Johnson. Lane Garrett Johnson. Kai Johnson. Jonathan Logan Jones. Lauren Gabrielle Keaton. Ashton McCain Kelly. Christopher David Kernia. Francesca Renee King. Tanner Wayne Knight. Jonathan Wesley McBee. Margarita Christina Andrade. Bryce Lee Gilbert. Dylan Paul Johnson. Jason Brent Lawson. Blake Lamar Lofty. Shelby Nicole Logan. Braden Alec Long. Grayson May Lowrance.
River Chase Lusk. Antonio Demetrius Martin. Kareel James Massey. Anaya Alexius May. Mackenzie Faith McCoy. Jesse Lee McCurdy. Katie Lynn McDaniel. William Gage McDaniel. James Cade McGregor. Zachary Dale McNabb. Michaela Lee Merciers. Wesley Connor Middleton. Leanna Ray Miller. Lillian Marie Miller. Matthew Gabriel Milliken. William Albert Mollett. Madison Taylor Grace Moore. Tinley Alexis Moore. Ethan Chase Morgan. Jonathan Seth Morris. Kendall Aaron Morse. Carl Ethan Moyer. Hunter Allen Murray. Skylar Mason Lamb. Hunter Michael Milliken. Chance Blue Moon Monto. Emily Jane Scott. Ethan Bruce Nelson. Caitlin Lachey Nunley. Danny Michael O'Neill. Peyton Lane Ogle. Micaiah Liche Paget. Micaiah Janonly Pardon. Gabriel Russell Paris. Garrett Paul Parker. Ian Lee Peoples.
Cora Grace Peters. Haley Lynn Phillips. Brian Gabriel Pitier. Aiden Daniel Platt. David Ponce. Jamie Nikita Posey. Darian Nathaniel Powers. Elijah Dwayne Ramsey. Jade Elizabeth Ransom. Rebecca Judith Ralston. Sarah Mashai Rhodes. Dawson Deshawn Riley. Matthew Aaron Roach. LaTerrence LeBron Roberts. LaTorrence Laquan Roberts. Alexis Nicole Robertson. Brandon Reed Rodham. Mackenzie LaShawn Rodriguez. Alexander McCain Martin Rogers. Matthew James Shoblin. Nicholas Charles Smeltzer. Elijah Perry Schwark. Cody James Scruggs. Braxton Hunter Shaw. Michael Scott Shevlin. Cedric Allen Shropshire. Brittany Elise Skiles. Haley Cheyenne Sprague. Jacob Austin Starry. Anastasia Destiny Steinman. Catherine Nicole Stevens. Taya Ray Stevens. Ricky Mason Stoker. Nicholas David Summy. Matthew Gregory Swafford. Logan Love Godfrey.
Pasquale Ruben Mendez. Joshua Landon Robinson. Abby Grace Nicole Tankersley. Rebecca Stratton Tate. Trinity Page Tate. Ethan Aaron Taylor. Jake Allen Taylor. Judah Israel Thomas. Dawson Cole Thompson. Mackenzie Kailani Thrasher. Alicia Jane Marie Treat. Skyler Anthony Troutwine. Myers Johnson Tucker. Christian Dwayne Turner. Justice Kiara Ruth Turner. Lana Renee Veal. Gina Kate Voss. William Robert Voiles. Madison Danielle Waddell. Kaylee Cassandra Caprice Wade. Kia Michaela Bernice Wade. Caitlin Alana Walden. Andrew Blake Walker. Jacob Ray Wallace. Lillian Rose Wallace. Bradley Lamar Land Webb. Morgan Alley Weeks. Matthew Connor Wise Up. Edward Andrew Westbrook. Jacob Addison Wheeler. Brian Austin White. Thomas Edwin White. Dalton McKenzie Wiley. Bonnie May Williams.
Joshua Israel Wilson. Morgan Elise Wimpy. Madison Page Witt. Alexander Nicola Taliesin Womack. Dalton Michael Woods. Anthony John Woodward. The following students are graduating from Ridgeland High School. However, they were unable to attend the virtual gradu graduation. Evelyn Pham, Lindsey Joe Plemons, Logan Aaron Smith, Caitlin Cheyenne Hill, Alexia Hope Holdaway, Todd Levi Alsobrook, Lauren Elizabeth Armstrong, Kaylee Shea Arderburn, Mackenzie Starr Benton, Jacob Thomas Brown, Benton Gage Burris, Rachel Nicole Crawford, Topanga Adriana Delassis, Sierra Nicole Drusilla Dornez, Dakota Bryce Durham, Jacob Avery Elam, Eric Robert Ewing, Valla Marie Rose Fitzgerald, Juliana Marie Starr Felzer, Michael Joseph Gentile, Ethan Marsh Goodson, Christopher Tyler Gravely, Ferris Jean Gray, Havenly Brooke Hope Harris, John Paul Hassler, Carlos Manuel Hernandez, Addison Brooke Holcomb, Corey Lee Housley, Carson T. Lake, Garen Eldridge Lake, Joshua Wayne Lawson, Michael Liana, Andrew Griffin Lowe, Juan Ricardo Marcos Bartista, Alan Martinez, Alan Wade McLeod, Monica Lynn McClure, Mackenzie Faith McCoy, Hunter Sky Millard, Cynthia Alexis Myers, Justice Aliana Nash, David Michael O'Donnell, Victor Seth Owens Andrades, Richard Ellis Payne, Jessica Jane Pell, Tyler Eugene Redman, Serenity Ashlyn Rogers, Aaron Randall Shoblin, Leah Michelle Shropshire, Roy Logan Shrum, Jillian Brianna Smith, Jaden Lee Stoker, Tara Nicole Taylor, Michael Isaiah Vaughn, Kelsey Aaron Weaver, James LeBron Wheeler, Ryan LaVon Wyrick, Alexis Kayana Young, Graduates, please rise. At this time, please move your tassel from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, by the authority invested in me by the Walker County Department of Education, I now proclaim and give you the Ridgeland High School graduating class of 2020.
It's been six weeks since school buildings were closed as part of our fight against COVID-19. In that time, Georgia's students, teachers, and parents have shown extraordinary resilience, creativity, and commitment as they have navigated this new normal. I know this has not been easy. Students, I know you're adapting to a new way of learning and adjusting to days apart from your teachers, friends, and regular routines. Graduating seniors, I know it has been difficult to celebrate your achievements and close this chapter with your peers in a way that is much different than expected. The class of 2020 has been resilient, strong, and hopeful. And while things are hard now, there is still a bright future ahead. To Georgia's teachers, you have moved quickly to begin delivering instruction in a whole new way. You have gone above and beyond, and people all over our state have seen just how passionate, skilled, and irreplaceable our educators are. I know you're missing your students. I know you are working harder than ever, often while taking care of your own children at home. Please know how much I appreciate your efforts and the support you've shown Georgia students. As a father of three, I also know how hard parents have worked to facilitate distance learning for their kids. Parents across our state are supporting their children's education more than ever before. And many are balancing those efforts with their own work, caring for an elderly parent, and many other demands. Thank you for the hard work and determination you've displayed. I assure you, it has not gone unnoticed. To every student, parent, and educator in our state, thank you for persevering through this school year. You have made the best of a very difficult situation, and you represented the very best of our state. Please know that as we move forward together, the state of Georgia has your back. Thank you, and God bless. Don't say goodbye I hate the way it sounds So if you don't mind Let's just say Just wanted to say bye guys this is not bye forever it's just bye for now i hope to see each and every one of your faces sometime soon until then stay safe stay healthy and know that i love you dearly bye. i want to send a short message to the seniors real quick uh, i've had most of you on class I, i'm really proud of what y'all done this year and what y'all uh, had to deal with i know it feels like the the world's ending with all this going on but it's not uh, your best days are ahead of you Look forward to seeing y'all soon. I wanted y'all to know that I miss seeing you every single day. I know that 2020 is only going to get better, right? And I know that all of your endeavors will be successful. Bye. Hey, class of 2020. I know it's a strange times, but I wish you the best of luck as you go off into this life. Uh, you'll definitely have a story for your, your grandchildren. And you can tell them about the year you graduated from high school. Uh, just remember, be good, be strong, do the right thing. And we'll see you guys on the other side. 
Right, peace out. Hi, Little Butler and Big Butler here, giving you a message during these trying times. Um, we miss you. Anything else? Okay, wait to see you soon. Stay safe. Bye. To the class of 2020, we know this is not anything that anybody would ever hope for or plan for, um, us included. Um, but I know that you're resilient, and I can't wait to see how you go out and change the world. To go let your light shine. To the class of 2020, I hate that your senior year has ended this way. You guys deserve to be celebrated, and for that, I'm so sorry. But I am thankful that I got to get to know some of you in my English class. We had some good times. I'm looking forward to hearing about your great and wonderful accomplishments as you enter into a new chapter of your life. Please come back and see me anytime. Good luck. To the graduating class of 2020, we have been through so much together, I feel like I've known you forever. And this is not the end. Graduation is the beginning. You are ready to walk into the world as leaders, as contributors to our society. You have been well prepared and I expect the absolute best from you. I'm so sorry that things didn't turn out the way we planned this year with prom and graduation. We will try our best to make it up to you in the meantime. Remember at Ridgeland High School, you always have a home. Always come back and see us. Panther Nation forever. I'm really on the ropes this time I've been fighting all my life for you I never should have said goodbye But maybe that's what stupid people do Cause you gave me peace And I wasted it I'm here to admit that you were my medicine Oh, I couldn't quit And I'm down on my knees again Asking for nothing Thank you for the happiest year of my life So, wake me up when they build that time machine I wanna go back Wake me up when you were sleeping next to me Cause I really loved you ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you for the happiest year of my life Thank you for the happiest year of my life Oh, thank you for the happiest year of my life Yeah Thank you for the happiest year of my life I mean, I'm really just missing it right now. Um, this place has definitely become a home to me for the past four years, and it's treated me very, very well. I'm trying to make the best of everything. It's weird because I always wanted to be home, and now that I'm home, it's like I don't want to be here. It's taken away the end of my senior year, and a lot of um, clubs and stuff I've been in and everything we've been doing has been canceled. It's really sad, but then again, I know one day it's going to be okay, so I'm trying to stay positive and hope for the best. I mean, I love everything about this place. I miss it very much, and I hate that it had to end this way. I miss Jim. I miss Coach Oliver, and I miss Coach Bates. Senior year is supposed to be fun and exciting, and you get to enjoy the last moments, and we're not even going to be able to do that. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like I'm missing out on a lot of stuff that I could be doing right now. Just to be able to like have that last little bit, because like the goodbye was not 
appropriate. You know, life is all about experience. This is something we can tell our, our grandkids, our kids. Like, we're witnessing history right now. I get very happy for the seniors as I watch them transition into this new chapter of their lives, making plans and having so many exciting things coming down the pike for them. And um, when I see them cross the stage, it's a really awesome feeling to see all of their hard work pay off. So I get sad, um, a little bit nostalgic because I start thinking about the year. And I know you guys are counting down because you want it to be over, but I'm counting down thinking like I only have a few more weeks with you guys. So yeah, a little bit sad, but also very excited for you because I know it's a, you know, a big time and I'm excited for you. Well, I feel excited. Um, the reason is, is that I know that right now that, you know, hey, they are writing a chapter in their book. And then after that, when they graduate from Ridgeland High School, it's not the end of the book, it's just the end of a chapter. And I'm excited that they're gonna be uh, moving on to to brighter things. You know, gonna miss them though. You know, gonna miss them, I always miss them. Uh, and I always ask them also to come back, let me know how they're doing. So I think, you know, it's a good thing that they are moving on because uh, life is uh, about change and not only change, but change for the better. And I think that when they graduate, they're gonna move on to brighter and better things. I specifically don't like to teach seniors for that reason. And if seniors have noticed, like I kind of do start stepping away a little bit because I do get very sad as kids that I love, like, it would be very difficult to teach seniors. Like, I would probably stay sad the whole time. 11th grade is perfect. Like, I can, y'all are serious minded, you have goals, and I can help you with those goals. But by second semester senior year, it's too much. Yes. And it makes me sad. I would say make decisions that you can be proud of. You know, we always push like go to college and get your degree, but college is not for everybody. But what is for everybody is making decisions that are in your own best interest and that you can be proud of. And you know, just work hard and, and live a good, happy life. That's all that we ever wish for anybody and that's the, the best advice that I can give is just try to be happy. Y'all are the class of 2020, which is pretty cool. And I always think that the even years are a little bit better. But I think y'all know this, um, we had a great class, you know, and especially, I'm trying to think of um, some of y'all I had for ACT prep and for English 3, and y'all get snacks and we just get to visit a whole lot of times in the 1000 Hall. The 1000 Hall will not be the same without any of you. To always do their best, and do nothing less than their best. And to always remember that every day is a great day, is a good day, let me change that. Every day is a good day. And to always stay above the clouds and be where the sunshine is. 
Although this is a very positive and exciting time of year, I just want to let you know that you always have a choice, no matter your circumstance, and those choices have rewards and consequences. And it's harsh out there, so you're gonna have to be hardworking, keep a great attitude even when things don't go your way. Um, people don't owe you anything, so you have to work really hard and you're gonna be competing with a lot of other people to get what you want, but never give up. But my advice to you is follow your passion. We all have to work, so you might as well like your work. And you can always change your work. Like you might start something and you might figure out, I don't like this, I did that, I started at a bank and I figured out this really, really stinks. You can change, you can reinvent yourself. Just be the best you you can be. Just that I love you dearly and that uh, I wish everything the best for you and, and I hope that you accomplish everything you've ever dreamed of. And don't forget us. Come back and say hello sometime. We'd love to see you. Hey guys, I want to go ahead and tell you uh, that it's been great and it's going to be better. And just always remember that every day is a good day. And also when you graduate, make sure that you come back and visit us. Let us know how you're doing. Whenever all of you are rich and famous, remember us little people here at Ridgeland. Come back and visit, though. Seriously. Come back anytime. Say hello. We'll miss you. I love you. Have a wonderful life. Come visit. Hey, feeling good. Like I should. can be a better day despite the challenge all you gotta do is leave it better than you found it it's gonna get difficult to stand but hold your balance i just say whatever cause there is no way you're around it. everyone falls down sometimes but you just gotta know it'll all be fine it's okay up and nothing works you feel surrounded gotta give your feet some gravity to get you grounded keep good things inside your ears just like the waves and sound it and just say whatever cause there is no way you're grounded everyone falls down sometimes but you just gotta know it'll all be fine it's okay uh -huh, uh -huh. it's okay Sunday best Hey, feeling good Like I should When in the blue All go around the neighborhood Feeling blessed Never stressed Got the sunshine On my Sunday best Lyman School, IBW, some trade Uh, after high school I'm going to the army um signing papers with the air force um I'm still making plans of which college I plan to attend but I'm going to go for business management uh, I'm going to college to be a nurse I'm going to Bryan College on a softball scholarship and I'm going to major in nursing college going to become a medical doctor uh next stop we're we'll going to Alaska Georgia going to Ryan Hart University um I plan to go to Chat State to do the dental hygiene program uh, I'm probably just going to go to Georgia Tech in the fall. No, I plan on going to Bryan. I'm joining the United States Air Force. Hopefully go to college, uh, become an EMT, and work my way up to a paramedic. I'm going to UGA, so I've got that to look forward to. Um, and beyond that, just life. You know, we finally get to experience life. Won't you come see about me? I'll be alone. 
dancing, you know it, baby. Tell me your troubles and doubts, giving me everything inside and out. And love strange, so real in the dark. Think of the tender things that we were working on. So change may pull us apart. When the light gets into your heart, baby. Forget about me Don't, 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 don't Don't you Forget about me Don't you forget about me Don't you Forget about me something until it's gone so to the other classes coming up as seniors count every day as a joy because you never know what's going to happen next it's been a good run <laughs> it's been a good four years and i appreciate everyone that's helped me through it and you know been there for me and everybody made it together uh don't take any other day after this for granted uh live every day like it's your last and have fun being a Richland panther it's more than just um it's more than just uh, the classroom atmosphere and it's more than just you know going to school every day and getting your work done it's about getting involved in everything my advice to freshmen or anybody else in high school right now is just to enjoy the time you have and don't take anything for granted and to also just get involved any way that you can whether that be sports clubs activities or anything so that's big uh, that's what helped me for sure um i love you guys you know it's been a great experience here at rhs you know i'm excited for the future so. If we can get through this, we can get through anything in life. Congratulations, class of 2020. If you can get through this, hit somebody.